I can also. Uh, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon, and good evening, or whatever it is where you are. I'm Bob Byrne, coming to you from New York City, where we are about to watch a three-cushion billiard match between the brilliant Turkish player Semi Seginer and a New York Korean-American named Ira Lee. This is at SL Billiards, and it's Sang Lee's third international tournament. I'll be the, describing the action here with my special guest, Dick Jaspers, one of the top players in the world. It's nice to have you in the booth, Dick. My pleasure. So Mr. Sagener is uh, taking the world by storm here, isn't he? He's uh, quite a player. Well, he's... He scored two on the break. We missed the break shot, unfortunately, but he's now ahead two to nothing. Well, he's a fantastic player, and he's totally different <laughs> than what I <laughs> what I'm doing. So you never know quite what he is going to do, huh? Yeah, he, lose, he uses a lot of fantasy uh -huh. in his game, and that's, of course, it's nice to see. Now, his opponent is a young fellow from New York named Ira Lee. He hasn't, but we are playing in the last round of the preliminaries here at the third SL Billiards World Open. And uh, Mr. Segener is undefeated in his flight with seven wins and no defeats, whereas Mr. Lee has only won one game and has six defeats. So Mr. Segener is into the finals, along with one other player from his flight, and that is the son of the great Raymond Kuhlemans, Kurt Kuhlemans. At least we have one Kuhlemans in the finals. Uh, if it's not one, it's another one. There's a lot of Kuhlemans coming along. And he has a lot of grandsons, so I think... Yes, I heard that he has a young grandson who looks pretty good. And he's also playing very good for his age. Really? So <laughs> <laughs> the name of Kuhlemans will be with us for a long time. I think so, too. Well, he seems puzzled by this shot. Oh, he's going to go reverse English and stay along the end rail, I guess. Oh, no, look at that shot. What yeah, an idea, isn't it? That's typically Saigon, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, he, sometimes he uses many solutions with, with mm. kisses, mm -hmm. with uh, possibilities for a kiss, and, of course, it's, uh, if you play the shot a lot of times, Mm -hmm. You can expect a lot of kisses, maybe, mm -hmm. but it's always good to see and something and different. Can the other players wouldn't use that shot. Not so, not so directly. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you had a chance to play on these tables yet this year? Mm, Have you yet. practiced? No, not yet. Huh? Well, I think all tables are are equal. I mean, the, they use a little sliding on the balls. It's, mm -hmm. it's not so easy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. so, but I practice a little bit on the on the first table. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, it's very good, I think. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, watch uh, Tony Carlson and Sammy Saigene and Louis Havenholz, three good players, they, they play good averages. So, so I think no problems with, yes. the, with the tables. Uh -huh. I should say they're going to play to 40 points. That's the usual format for Sang Lee's annual international tournament. That's where you have um, some preliminary flights, and uh, the top players from the preliminary flights advance to the finals, where four seeded players will begin play against the qualifiers. And uh, the last two years, the seeded players had to spot the qualifiers 10 points in 50, which was a pretty hard job. This year, it's 10 points in 60, right? Yes, I know. I can't imagine uh, that uh, Saigener has to make 10 points or <laughs> less. Yes, that's going to be very difficult. But they could only have four seeded players. So the way it has worked out, 
Seigener is now going to be in the finals, and everybody will have to spot him 10 points in 60. I mean, the other the four seeds. That is going to be a very difficult task. Last year, Frederick Codron was the um, seventh ranked player in the world, and he came in through the qualifier, so everybody had to spot him 10, and uh, that was too much, and he won the tournament. Well, it's very difficult but, uh, because if you can start by your own self and you, you can make four or five points, mm -hmm. you must make uh, uh, 15 points uh, to... Yes, he's already 15 <laughs> points ahead. I think the start is, is in this tournament very important. Look at this. Wow, that was nice. Bravo. He plays so easily. Like, uh, he's he also plays quite quickly, doesn't he? Yes, Sometimes it's he very nice to see. And sometimes it's necessary that new players are coming uh, new from different countries. Mm -hmm. that well, it was really exciting to hear of a brilliant new player from Turkey because we didn't even know that Turkey, that they played billiards in Turkey over here, and suddenly we have a world-class player from yeah, Turkey. Yeah. I hear s such comments also in, uh, in Holland, and and now they hear about him, and it's a good, uh, it's a good thing for billiards in Turkey. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, I bet. The best players come from countries. You, you never expect it. Mm -hmm. You never know where genius is going to yeah. arise. But I spoke to Saganer just before this match and asked him about Turkey. It's a country of about 65 million people. He said he estimates that 5 million people play billiards and um, 10 or 15,000 are serious players. So that's an amazing statistic. That's even more than in Holland. Now I mean Holland's Holland's is, is how, how many people in Holland? Um, is it 35 million people? No, no uh, I think about 15 million. 50 million. Holland is a very small country. 15 million? 15 million, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Little more than, than New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh. Not quite hard enough. But for a very small country, Holland has a tremendous number of good players. We have really uh, a lot of players. It's also uh, that you can find a lot of tables in Holland. Mm -hmm. in, in, in each cafe, you, you can find at least one table. Mm -hmm. Almost always a billiard table, right? Not a... Uh, Only, yeah, last 10 years, uh, pool and snooker mm -hmm. is coming up very mm -hmm. strong. I think pool is uh, is coming up very strong. Mm -hmm. Snooker is going a little bit, uh, is going back, and carrom ball has always been. Mm -hmm. How many players are in the Dutch Federation of Billiards? Well, I think almost forty thousand. So it's we have uh, one of the biggest federations in, in the world and. Uh -huh. Maybe the biggest. Uh -huh. But there are also a lot of walk line, free game, uh -huh. artisti artistic players. But uh. also, also through cushion uh, has become much important in, in the last five, six years. With the start of the professional uh, play? Yeah, that's right. Can you... Um, can you see three cushion played on television? Well, not Very so much. Not so much, but it's coming, and uh, a lot of people are working for it. Mm -hmm. Are fighting for every minute television, and and people are are seeing billiards more and more as a serious sport. Mm -hmm. So people see that players are y are getting younger and younger. That's it's probably a good, a good thing. Sign and and uh, not an old man's game. Yeah, with drinking beer and <laughs> smoking cigars. Okay, now Se Seginer should make 
more than one point here. He has a good position. Yes. I think he's a very good uh, position player. He seems to do a lot with the first ball and get it into good position. Well, he's uh, a very serious guy. Mm -hmm. That's what I. That's what I like. Uh, his heart is full of billiards and. Look how confident he shot on that shot. He has a he has own strong ideas and he's going his own way and he's a very sympathetic. Yeah. Uh, and he's proving player. that his ideas are pretty good. Yes. <laughs> also, the way he played is very attractive to see. Yes, he's a colorful character and he is an interesting looking person. With his uh, beard and his uh, ponytail, and his black hair. Gonna drop in there. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, but he's, he's criticized uh, himself very good. I mean, does he? Yeah, he's. Sometimes I'm, surpri I'm surprised. <laughs> well, he's, he's quite confident. I, I think he realizes that he has a chance to be world champion someday if he keeps improving like he has. Don't you think? He's one of the right, he's, he's one of the guys who can, mm -hmm. yes he is. I should tell our viewers who aren't familiar with Mr. Jaspers that Mr. Jaspers is also one of the players who might be world champion someday. Uh, especially uh, this year, you've had a very good year, haven't you? You've won some big tournaments. Yes, I win. I win. I win some big tournaments. Only the World Cup was was uh, was bad for me. Last season. Last yeah. season. Uh, but just recently, I think you won a couple of tournaments in the last few months, haven't you? That's right, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe that, that maybe means you'll have a good year this year in the World Cup. I think, uh, are you now ranked fifth? This is I have the world ranking list, I think, from the... Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm, I'm five, yes. So we have Sang Lee first and Torborn Blumdahl second. Marco Zanetti, all three of those players are in this tournament. Fourth ranked is Raymond Kuhlemans, but sorry to say, Mr. Kuhlemans, who intended to play in this tournament, had uh, some surgery last week and so had to pass it by, but maybe we'll see him next year. Then we have Dick Jaspers, ranked fifth. Frederick Codrone, who won this tournament last year, is not here this year. And Semi Segener is seventh. He might move up a little bit this year. He has uh, only been on the world scene for two years, I think. I know him for two years, yeah. That's no, all? No longer, yeah, yeah. Did you know him before that? No. No? Isn't that two amazing? Two years ago, I, or maybe three years ago, but... Look so at that beautiful shot. Bravo. Hey, that's... Uh, he's, a, he's a great talent, really. I played one time with him. He beat me very straight. Is Three that zero. so? Yes. Well, I think he has wins over just about everybody, doesn't he? He's beaten Kuhlemans, too. Yes. Well, not no, quite. Not good. Uh, he's mad at himself there. He made one, two points that time, so he's ahead 11, and Mr. Lee only has three. Well, Sang Lee is another player who uh, burst on the scene and was uh, something new for everybody to see. He, he too has an unusual style, doesn't he? He doesn't look like the European players. Yeah, he, is, he has his own style, that's mm -hmm. good. It's, I suppose all players had the same style, it's boring to yeah. see. Uh -huh. And it proves that uh, a good percussion player uh, don't, don't has to be a good uh, bog line player. Because Sangley didn't come up that way, did he? No. Oh, neither did 
only three cushion like also Sammy Saigner and uh, Toby and Blomdahl. Blomdahl they, too. They only play three cushion and. Right. I remember Kuhlman used to say to us Americans that we would never be tops in three cushion unless we played those small games too. And now here are three players who have reached the top. Yes, it's. It's okay. But okay, if you play bulk line, if you play free game, you used to be very precisely. You uh -huh. have to shoot with exact yes. aim. Yes, it's it's a kind of a nature, and uh, and types like uh, Bitalis and and Saigina, they are much more emotionally, and they mm -hmm. they must be uh, in tr in trance. Yeah, in a so trance. In yes. a trance, yes. Uh -huh. And they play by instinct. Yes, uh, yeah, more and more. Instead of uh, calculation. Yeah. What kind of a cue do you use? Well, I use a Longoni cue. Oh, from Italy? From Italy, yes. And uh, what does it weigh? The weight? The, the weight of it. Uh, is it uh, 500 grams or...? Uh, oh, yeah, it's 530 grams. 530? Yes. Little behind, little... The weight is the more weight behind. Is yeah, in the yeah. rear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, how big is the tip? Uh, it's about 11 and a half. Well, that's fairly yes. small. It's not too thick, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the score is 12 to 4. Now here's another big opening for Semi. He has a wide open shot. Well, you can yeah. see he practices a lot. Yes, and he... Everything he does is very easily. And he puts the red ball near the corner. Yeah. Now I guess he's going to go five rails. On. Oh, he got a kiss there. He's disgusted with himself. Huh? It's maybe he's a little fast. I mean, a little careless okay, sometimes. He don't see many problems. That's that's a good on, mm -hmm. on one way, but he can make uh, unnecessary falls. It's mm -hmm. dangerous for 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 himself. Mm -hmm. He should maybe. Okay, take he's, he's not so frightened for for his uh, opponent, uh, Ivan Lee, mm -hmm. and he's always. Sure, from the from the final tournament, but if he plays with uh, with other players, good players, it's maybe more carefully. Mm -hmm. It's up too long. The table is very good, but a little long. It's, uh, yes, it uh, it holds the spin and it spins off the last yeah. rail. I think it's for everybody uh, complicated sometimes. Yes, especially at the early part of the tournament when the cloth is brand new. See how yeah, long that good. is, comes off long on the last rail. Now let's see if he can do something here. He has to go very close to the corner to make this one. He doesn't waste much time. <laughs> yeah, it's very fast. <laughs> now the game is being videotaped by AccuStats with Pat Fleming doing the mixing and Pat Fleming Jr. on the movable camera. There are two cameras, one fixed overhead and one on a pivoting dolly. And before the 
matches are videotaped. Uh, Pat sets up special lighting above the table, fluorescent tubes, and then the harshness is masked with some parachute silk. Oops, he missed that one. Oh, they're incandescent bulbs, I'm told. This is Thursday, and we're in the final games of the preliminaries. The, the finals start on Friday. This is Thursday. Mm, too thin. This is a difficult shot, I think. No, oh, we can't see the red. It's almost impossible. <laughs> well, he has but a hard shot it. off either yeah. side of the white. He could come off the right side of the white also. Uh, oh, he's going to go up to the other end and with left hand English. This is a good camera work. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really nice. Bravo. Did you notice he, he didn't walk around the table? He only judged that by standing yeah, down yes. here. He, he didn't go down and put his finger on an exact spot. He plays by judgment. I think he was sure that he was going to make the point. Well, look at the way that spin takes off the last yeah. rail. Well, he's a perfect example to to uh, to make the game act attractive mm -hmm. so it's good that he is uh, in our group mm -hmm. su such player like him <laughs> oh, oh we missed an open shot there well it's it's okay, nice it's, it's nice of you to say that about him because he is another tough player for you to have to play all the time a hard man to beat he's really hard to beat he's He's al he has also a good mind of playing mm -hmm. billiards. He, uh, he doesn't think too much. He only wants to play good billiards. Uh -huh. Like many of the top players, he speaks excellent English, too. I'm surprised coming from Turkey. I, I know that in Holland, uh, practically everybody speaks English, but I don't think so many people in Turkey. Uh, well, he's very ambitious. He uh, mm -hmm. he knows that that with Turkish talking, you can't don't get have anywhere. Chances. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's also the same with me. If I if I talk Dutch, nobody can understand me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess a person who speaks Dutch can also understand German. Is it well, close? it's very similar, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh-oh, we might have a Massey shot here. I think, he, yeah, I think he will do it. He's chalking up his cue. <laughs> Looking at the line. I like this well, close-up. Ah, that's, that's nice to see. Now let's get an overview so we can see the curve. Oh, too much that curve. Too much. Okay, he's, he's not a machine. He, he does miss sometimes. Let's see if Mr. Lee can do something here. 
Mm-hmm. That's 17 for Mr. Segener, and I believe Mr. Lee now has five. I well remember the uh, thrills you provided everybody last year in the last game of this tournament when you were up against Sang Lee and uh, you had a chance to win the tournament uh, if you beat Sang Lee and you did with a run of 15. It was quite exciting. But unfortunately, Mr. Codron also won on the other table, so he won the tournament. Well, it was my f I made a big mistake with an, uh, in another game that I lost from a Korean uh, player. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I lost from Kudron last year and the second game from Korean uh, player. Uh -huh. uh, did you have to spot him 10 points? With Kudron, yes. Yeah, and also the Korean player. Yeah, also, yes. Mm -hmm. I had That's seven, mo seven points more, but okay, I missed yes. three points. Uh -huh. And that was my, my big my big mistake from last year. Okay, I had a, a very good game with Sang Lee. But okay, we play all seven games and it's about the total. Yes, uh, that but game, uh, looking at the record here, you uh, you beat Sang Lee 50 to 30 in only 20 innings. It was also my best game of the, the uh -huh. tournament. I like to play with him also. Yes. It's, uh, it's really a challenge to uh, to play with strong players. Uh huh. Brings out the best in yeah. you too. And I think we have we have a very strong tournament this year. With oh, I'll say that must be a, a strain to go up against. To know you have to play Sang Lee and Segener and uh, it's wonderful. That's that's why I I, I love to be here and. I like also the system uh, in America that everybody play each other. Yes, the round it's, it's robin. It's a very good practice. Mm -hmm. You play seven games of 60 points and... Yes, that's, that's a fair test. Yeah. It's also the first tournament of the season. And we are, we are, f we are all hungry for the balls and... <laughs> hungry for the balls. Yeah. We all took a long holiday, and uh, now it's time to play billiards. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that we will he have a tournament here each year, every uh, year. Yes, I hope so. Oh, now look at this shot. He's going to go along the rail. Oh, oh beautiful. He shot that so simple. easily. Well, he knows a lot about the game. He, mm -hmm. he knows exactly what to do. It looks simple, but how did he learn that to do that in Turkey? I wonder were there other other good players, or did he teach himself? Well, he's very very ambitious. Maybe he's the most ambitious guy. Yes, he I really. I have met him. Is that so? I wonder if he came up uh, to watch some of your other tournaments before he. And is that how he learned? Did he come up uh, up to Europe and uh, watch some tournaments? No, or? it's. Only from the last two years. It's that okay, he has reached he this level, huh? Yeah, that's very fast. And, and in Turkey is so popular. Mm -hmm. I was on holiday this year in Turkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was curious about uh, knowing Saigener. Yes. But everybody knows Saigener. <laughs> <laughs> He's a national hero. Huh? Yeah, it's, and it's also, it works good for him. Mm -hmm. What is he doing here? Is he going to hit real fast? I think it's short, long. The red ball. Going back to the long cushion. No, no. Uh, he was trying to go straight up the line, I guess. Well, it's nice to, to, to pick up the most simple solutions. It's mm -hmm. And Sammy uh, uses a lot of more difficult solutions, only to try out. That's nice uh, speed. And you can see he practiced all day. He, he has a billiard room in Istanbul. And I think he, he only plays, he only play billiards and nothing else. And mm, that's his job. Huh? It, he takes it very seriously. 
Uh oh. Ah, it can happen. That's a risk. Do you know what sort of family he comes from? I mean, does he come from a middle class family who could, uh, or upper class family who could? Uh, well, I don't know anything about his mm -hmm. family. But I thought I, I heard something that he has grown up with, with a in a other family with his aunt or uncle or. But I'm not sure about it. And his wife is also a very good pool player. Is that so? She's also the Turkish champion. Oh gosh! So they two. They have two a Turkish monopoly champions. of <laughs> Turkey. This looks like a hard shot. A force follow, follow right through the ball. It's dangerous for a kiss. Oh. Yeah. You call that one. <laughs> Okay, now when, when you have this shot, do yeah. you like to go cross table or do you like to go four rails all around the table? Mm. You know, a all cross, I, I prefer like cross, yes. Because that keeps the white ball on this side of the table. Yeah, it's good position. It's also a shorter way of making the mm -hmm. point. Oh, he Maybe missed that. That was yeah. a big shot. That looks uh, what kind of position yes. he has. So, mm -hmm. so it's a very important shot. If you make the shot, you are. Almost always. Almost seven. sure that you make mm -hmm. maybe two or three points. Mm -hmm. and maybe because of his tempo, uh, sometimes he looks very easily to the points. Uh -huh. it's a three question is a very difficult game. That was That's nicely a nice hit. Yeah. Might miss. Ah. I see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gosh, I thought he made that shot. No? Uh, well, on on the monitor, it almost looked like he made it. We had one tournament where we uh, couldn't tell, and the referee could not tell, and we kept playing the tape over and over, and yeah. we could see that he made it. Because the camera was yeah. in just the right place. Look at this across the table. There's a beautiful shot. Oh, oh boy. Bravo. I have to applaud myself on that. He played that shot as if it was quite it's easy. It's very simple, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are laughing. <laughs> there su that surprised him. If you if you would show this for television, it's it's wonderful. Yes, it looks good on television. Better than pool, I think. Well, I ask a lot of people why they prefer pool uh -huh. uh, instead of three cushion, and they uh, they they say every time, well, three cushion is too difficult. Yes. And pool, it's much easier. Okay, pool. If you want to play pool perfectly, is also difficult. I'm sure. Yes. Another cross table shot. Well, very good played. Okay, we're going to take another look at Semi's wow. last shot. Now, watch the way the the ball hugs the end rail here with reverse English. There's one, yeah, two, three, yeah. four rails. That was perfectly played. But the speed is also very important on this shot. So it can get the right action. Yeah. There. If you shoot too hard, it doesn't have time to... Yes, yeah. Well, it's not only the the, the way of making speed. He, he, he puts a lot of feeling in the ball. It's mm -hmm. And he uh, he knows a lot about the shot. You can see it. It's mm -hmm. He looks... He, mm -hmm. he doesn't. He shoots and... Let's I mean see. I mean, if I if I got this shot, I I would have problems with this shot. You would I'm think sure. about it a long time. He just longer than than he yeah. than he's doing. <laughs> he plays with tremendous confidence.
guess he's going to play rail first. It's the normal solution, yes. Mm -hmm. And come in short, so there'll be four rails. Oh my, you're going to make it anyway. No. I think that's the hard way to play. So he made two, he has eight points. And Mr. Segener has 21. I didn't see the game, but earlier in the tournament, Mr. Segener played Mr. Barraza of Mexico. He was a very good player, and Segener won 40 to 3. How good it's. That looks pretty good. No? Okay, he thinks of position. When he makes a point, mm -hmm. yes. He would have had a good shot. Also good defense. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, play defense. I mean, I he doesn't need to play defense. He's leading. He's mm -hmm. he has a lot of confidence. But I, he was thinking a lot of position. I think position more than defense. Yes. Kuhlemans once told me that at the beginning of the game he tries to make everything and tries to bury the other opponent in points and if it doesn't work then maybe he'll start thinking about defense a little more. Well, you must play your own game. Some players are playing much more de defense than other players. It's mm -hmm. Just a matter of style. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, look and at that action. Ooh. Too much action. And he plays defense too. Did did you play in the tournament in Istanbul? There, there's, there's been two big tournaments in Istanbul. Did you play in this? I played uh, three times in Istanbul. Uh, two times in the Grand Prix. Yes. And last, last year was a World Cup. And uh, do they get a big audience down there for the billions? Well. Uh, in 92, I won the Grand Prix in Istanbul, and it was totally full. I think yes. there was... In a big hall? In a big hall, in a big uh, hall of the okay. Hilton International oh Hotel. Yes. Uh -huh. It was fantastic atmosphere. It was one of the best tournaments I ever had. And I think there were more than 1,200 people uh -huh. watching the billiards. It was fantastic. In a nice first-class hotel. Yes, uh, everything was absolutely... Perfect uh -huh. arranged, and yeah, that's that's a proof man, that uh, the billiards can be big. Mm -hmm. I think I remember reading that that tournament had uh, there were some preliminary tournaments to qualify some players to play, and they had something like 250 players tried to qualify. They had tournaments all over Turkey. Yes. And then, uh, and then uh, leading into the preliminaries and a tre tremendous number of <laughs> players. Yes. Not quite. Well, he has some... He Are has to work on his game more. He's just a young player. And it's difficult to play with Sagan I think. He he impresses a lot. Yes, he <laughs> intimidates you because he has a very intense look about him. Uh, what's he going to play here, I wonder? I think short, short, long, short, but I would uh, choose the other direction. He's going to draw into the corner here, I guess. Almost. That was not so bad. I mean... He would have gone the other way, you think? I think so, yeah. It's mm -hmm. more simple, but uh, I w he was afraid for the kiss. Well, 
in some positions he doesn't think a lot and he saves energy uh -huh. for more difficult shots. Well, the finals are going to be very interesting when all the good players play each other. It's uh, f for four of us, uh, Zanetti, Blomdali and me, to, uh, to give 10 points away. It's, uh, it's going to be awfully... It's a strange situation. <laughs> He's a world-class player. And <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. But OK, it can be a challenge. It can motivate you more and more to play the perfect game. Because you have game. to play your absolute best yes. game. Yes, yeah. Well, it looks good. That looks perfect. Beautiful. It's perfect. Well, bravo. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sagener wraps his chalk on his cue. I guess they do that in Turkey just the way they do here in New York. That's the nice thing about billiards. It's a world game. You can go all over the world and play the same rules. Well, I've, it's, it's a pity that there were so many other games than, than three questions. That's I mean. true. <laughs> billiards can be very big in the world. But there's much competition. For instance, the Snooker Federation has, a, has much money. They have money to spend because snooker is so popular in England that they can promote snooker all over the yeah. world. They can send their players to China. And but I think pool uh, is more popular in the world than, than snooker. Snooker is typically yeah. English. English and a few other countries that England formerly owned. <laughs> Australia and Canada. And well, he has a tough situation here. It looks like he's <coughs> planning maybe to hit two rails first. Short, long, and then maybe it's not so difficult as it seems. Yes, because it's a pretty big target yeah, down yeah. here. The yellow ball is big. Okay, you must be a little lucky if how he comes in the corner. Oh, oh he got too far behind that. Yeah. But let's see if we can take a look at uh, the other shot he made. Here it is. Watch this now. This is a very difficult position. Look how nicely he plays that with just the right speed. Yes. That's one to remember for your students watching. You don't think you have a shot, but the one he played is not that bad. There. Without problems. Sagener made that e look easy. Did you start your career playing uh, straight free billiards and uh, balk line and one cushion? Well, that's, that's the usual way. Mm -hmm. To start with free game, uh, this way, straight rail, you say? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then if you get high on a high, you, you start to play bulk line. Oh, gee, yeah. he missed an easy one. Then, then one cushion, three cushion. Uh -huh. One cushion is a nice game. Well, uh, maybe it's, it's more difficult than three cushion. You think so? Well, I... I don't know. To, sure. to get a long run, it's harder? More uh, uh, well, I'd maybe three cushion is more difficult. It's, it's what kind of average you do you want to mm -hmm. reach. But there are so many, there are so few tournaments. And that's, mm -hmm. that's a pity, only three cushion, there are a lot of tournaments. Yeah, this is that's a pretty nice. Gee. And three cushion is, I think, it's the best discipline to to bring it on on television. Yes, it looks good on it's television because it's big. How more cushions? Uh, how uh, the better the, the better to see. Uh, people always clap for for nine, <laughs> ten cushions. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Right tempo. out in the middle of the table. 
how he play he plays very relaxed and that's he only wants to play good billiards he told me he doesn't think of, of winning uh, or he or doesn't think the of the victory is. yes i see he only wants to play good good billiards that's a good attitude He's stumped yeah. here. He doesn't know what to do. Well, I would I would play from the right, from the right ball, but uh, cross back and forth across the table, or bank. He's gonna go. Looks like he's thinking about three cushions first. Now well, he's gonna go twice across the table. That's a good view on the monitor. Well, he made that, that look easy. Mm. I'm curious if he played the, uh, double the table, double round? Uh, yes. Times. No, no, no. Yeah. What's he going to do? He's going to back up behind? Yes, with a lot of uh, speed. Or like a lot of he's going to come out of the corner real straight. Ah, oh, gee. But you see, always position if you make the points. Yes, that's a good choice, isn't it? Or you give your opponent a good position. <laughs> it's one of them. Well, that's right. of a kiss. That's what he's worried about, I guess. <coughs> so he's going to go yeah. off the left side of the Takes red. That might be a kiss, too. The most complicated solution. And a kiss right in the middle of the short rail. Bing. Oh. Yeah. That's one way to miss the kiss, is to miss oh. the oh. shot. Oh, we almost got lucky. I miss uh, a lot of good American players in this tournament. Not very many easy I games. All, all pretty good players. But I miss Carlos Helen, uh, Frank Torres. Yes, um, the top four American players, f for different reasons, aren't here. Uh, Al Gilbert is uh, opening a uh, billiard room in Denver, so he's busy yeah, with yeah. that. And Frank Torres is uh, remodeling the room he owns in Las Vegas. He was busy with that. And uh, George Ashby just took a job with a factory, which is not in billiards, and he doesn't want to yeah. take a week off in his first month. Yeah, sure. And uh, Carlos Hallen, uh, I think he works at Master Billiards, which is a kind of competitive room to this room, so I think he felt maybe he shouldn't play. He played very well in Chicago, and, and uh, for in our national tournament a month ago, and, and really almost won that tournament ahead of Sang Lee. Sang Lee won two games, 50 to 49, and so he just barely won the tournament. That was uh, I forgot the name. Sorry, uh, Carlos Helen. Ah, Carlos Helen. Well, that was a good chance to uh, to play with the with the other players. Because I can only remember that, the, that there was one tournament a year in America for mm -hmm. for to meet each other. I mean, that's uh, here in New York. Yes, this is the only world-class tournament we have. It should be here normally, but okay. <laughs> Normally I couldn't come to. <laughs> well, 
Well, okay, now let's see if Saganer can do something. I think he has about 25 points. Mr. Lee still only has 10. If you look in the audience, you can see uh, Abel Calderon, who uh, was in the preliminaries and has opened a new room. There he is, uh, and he had to drop out today. He couldn't complete his games because he was in an auto accident. Somebody ran into the side of his car and he wrenched his neck and uh, had to drop out of the tournament. But, but he just, he opened one of the first of the real nice billiard rooms in New York, Abel's Club, and now he has opened another club in Rego Park, I believe, New York, with uh, European tables. I think they're Cheviot tables. So he's long been a booster of three cushion billiards in the United States. Well, Sagan is not having one of his best games here. He's missing quite a few, but he's got 26. I think his average is still 1.4, 1.5. <laughs> That's what he came into the game as 1.4, I think. It always is a mystery to me when I watch you good players play because I see you missing, but you still average 1.5. <laughs> well, it's because you only remember the misses. Yes. Well, I remember some some games. Uh, I missed really a lot of good positions, but okay, we are constantly we we, we still make our points mm -hmm. we we should make them we should make them and okay then we can still play 1.3 1.4 uh -huh. well, you take a player like uh, Kurt Kuhlmanns he plays a very nice game and averages about 1.1 or 1.2 but that's not good enough anymore you have to play no. better it must be better Oh, not so easy. Uh, is he going to go Probably take the short, short, long? Sh yeah. That looks pretty good. Looks very good play. Looks nice on the But he screen. plays the shot very relaxed. He, 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 know, he knows uh -huh. I must play to the corner. But there were several ways mm -hmm. to make the shot. He doesn't think very directly. Mm -hmm. He thinks in a very easy way. He thinks I play to the corner and look at that perfect position. Okay. Now let's see if he can control the uh, red ball here. Try to bring the red ball over to the same long rail. Now sometimes you must take care because it's sliding all the way, all the time and. This happens a lot, doesn't it, when you, you come up behind it and then you can't see the red ball? Yeah, but I think it's maybe maybe bank shot. Yes, did the white real thin or the white will kiss the red away? I think it's possible. I missed it. Bravo. Now ah, look, he's still in perfect position. A little unlucky that the white ball is coming so close. Three points, or how many points does he have there? I think he has five points already. Five. Oh, 
Well, he's quite a player. He's in good position. Should make another one. In March, uh, in March of this year, he he played a game in Istanbul and made 45 points in 11 innings. Still in business. It's also nice to play here. People are very seriously about uh -huh. Trikashin. The people how who are watching, they are very yeah, athletic also. It's yeah, nice pretty, to play uh, here. And he feels he feels good also. Does he? Can, yes. It's, it's pretty intimate where the fans are pretty close to yeah, the that's table. Th in some of the tournaments in Europe, the fans are so far away. Some organizers don't know anything about billiards. Yeah. And Will you make it? Yeah. I wonder how many that is. Must be about ten. Nine or ten. No, but you must. You must be close to the uh, to the to the tables. It's. That's kind of a hard shot. No. Yeah. I remember you made one something Still. like that against Sang Lee. It was. It was so nice in your, I think it was in your run of 15. Yeah, that shot I remember, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember another shot, it was more. Uh, <laughs> in that game? Uh, exciting for me. Uh, for the viewers, I just diagrammed a shot that Mr. Jaspers made last year against uh, Sang Lee. Now he's drawing me a picture. Mm -hmm. That's another thin hit and drop into the corner. It was, uh, yeah. If you play good, you make this kind of <laughs> uh -huh. points. That was a run of uh, nine that he had last time. He went from 26 to 35. Not so good. It's too, too much. Uh oh! Now he's going to bank. When you have a bank like this, do you count numbers or do you play if by it's judgment? If it, if the table is correct, I always count. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if the table is sliding, like like here, sometimes I doubt. Sometimes because then I you have to make such a correction on the numbers, you yes. might as well just... Uh, you, 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 you forget your feeling, eh? Yes. It's only counting and you must... You don't know how many uh -huh. points you must... Yes. How much you must adjust the... Yeah. But okay, if you if you normally count, then you can feel unsure. Uh -huh. If you play on feeling, it's bank shots are not my favorite. Uh -huh. Look at this twice around the table. He almost made that. <laughs> uh, it was eight rails or something like that. Well, he's he only needs four points to finish out this forty point game. He doesn't look so satisfied at all. No. I think since he was playing one of the easier players, I think he thought he maybe he would have a really good game. But okay, we can expect a lot from him in the final tournament. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting. But okay, we are all a little bit afraid for each other. We <laughs> we all know what we yes what we can. And you can't. You never feel safe against these top players because they might run 
15 points well, at any time. We all know that you can make, all of us, we can make many points. Mm -hmm. but when or, or how, it's <laughs> always a question. Yeah. But it gives a good atmosphere if, if a lot of good players are here and who enjoy the games. It's not only the first round losing out. Uh -huh. We play all seven games, we all feel good. Uh -huh. It's a lot of billiards. And in this tournament, um, the first two advanced to the, f or the, is it the first? You, know, you have to win your uh, flight to advance to the finals, but the second place finishers then go into a, a consolation round robin. So it, if you win some games, you get to play a lot of billiards. Yeah, sure. It's all. It's. I think it's good if you have the possibilities to, uh, to have to organize a B to a mm -hmm. B tournament. Yeah, it's good. Give the other players also. Then, then you don't give up in the tournament if you lose a yes. few games because you still yes. have a chance to. That's why do something. I like to come to America. It's a long flight. It's a long way, but you play a lot of games. It's yeah. very good practice. Uh -huh. Do you feel still feel jet lag, or are you adjusted yet? Well, I oh, yesterday I was You tired. came yesterday. Yeah, yeah. By but tomorrow you might be okay. It's okay. Yes, I feel good. From uh, traveling from uh, west to east. Five hours difference. Uh, from east, that? from east to west, it's yeah. not so hard as uh -huh. the opposite. Uh -huh. Okay, if if I see all the billiard friends, then uh -huh. I yeah, feel good. Fine, isn't it? I will do also something special. Uh, no, a little too, too thin. thin. How old are you, Dick? I'm 29. And you just, just 29. Uh, 29, and you just got married, didn't you? Yes. What is your wife's name? Uh, Andrea. Does she like to watch you play, or does it make her too nervous to watch? No, she is very interested in the game. She, she doesn't know anything about billiards before. No. But when I introdu introduced her to billiards, it's... She finds it interesting? Yes, right? very interesting. And normally she uh, she's coming to the tournament. Mm -hmm. Has she ever been to the United States? No, no. But I, I think next year, maybe I go to uh, the tournament in Florida or in Chicago. Yes. I'm interested, and I like to. He's playing for ah, one he point. Played. He has the game almost won. Look at Yarley. Oh. What Something did he strange. do? <laughs> <laughs> he made. Uh, I guess he needs two. No, he only needs one. I can't quite tell. Normally, it's not usual if you miss. It looks like uh, he didn't really try very hard on that last shot. I asked him after the game. Like he was disgusted at something. Well, he is only playing one hour. It's fantastic for a game for 40 yeah, points. It's a tournament game especially. Well, Mr. Lee only has 11 points. Hmm. But he has, he has to look positive about the game. He, it's, uh, he only can learn a lot from, from this game. And he's playing such a top player, it's quite a privilege. He has also made uh, some very nice points. It was quite electrifying for us to have Sang Lee win the world title because it meant a lot to the United States to finally have somebody that who lives here that can play at that level. And uh, especially since we used to dominate the game, you know, 60 years ago. Yes, yeah. And, and now we have lost that, but finally we have a player who can play at the top level. But it's also a very nice friend. And Look at this shot. Oh, oh my gosh, what Bro. an out shot that was. 
Nobody else would have played that shot. So we have a winner, Semi Segener, the sensational player from Turkey, has won his final preliminary round match, 40 to 11 over Mr. Ira Lee of New York City. And so Mr. Segener, signing the score sheet, is undefeated in his flight and now will advance. And because of the rules of the tournament, he has a spot of 10 points in every game. This is Bob Byrne saying goodbye for Accustats, uh, Pat Fleming Sr. and Jr., and my guest, Dick Jaspers of Holland. Thank you for helping me, Dick. My pleasure. Bye-bye, sports fans.